This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete Haynes online manual at haynes.com. Pull off the plastic caps, then slacken each of the wheel nuts half a turn. Position the jack head under the outer edge of the front subframe with a pad or block of wood to prevent damage. Then raise the vehicle until the wheel is clear of the ground. Support the vehicle with an axle stand under the subframe rear mounting point. Fully unscrew the nuts and remove the wheel. Counter hold the lower guide pin with an open ended spanner, then unscrew the guide pin bolt. Note that a new bolt will be required. Pivot the caliper upwards and support it from the suspension strut with a length of wire to prevent straining the rubber hose. Disconnect the padware sensor wiring plug and slide the inner brake pad from the mounting bracket. Remove the outer brake pad. Prise the anti-rattle springs from the mounting bracket. Measure the thickness of the pad friction material. If any pad is worn down to 1.5mm or less, all four front brake pads must be renewed. Clean the caliper and mounting bracket with a brush and brake cleaner. If new pads are being fitted, pull the wear sensor from the inner brake pad backing plate. To accommodate the new pads, the pistons must be pushed fully back into the caliper body. Clamp the rubber brake hose to prevent dirt being forced back up into the hydraulic system. Remove the dust cap and fit a spanner to the bleed screw and attach a plastic tube to the screw. The other end of the tube should be into a suitable container or bleeding kit. Open the bleed screw 45 degrees and push the pistons fully back into the caliper. This is best achieved using a piston retraction tool, although a G-clamp will suffice. The displaced fluid will flow into the container. As the pistons come to a stop, close the bleed screw. Remove the retraction tool or G-clamp. Disconnect the tube, remove the spanner and refit the dust cap to the bleed screw. Don't forget to remove the hose clamp. Refit the anti-rattle shims to the mounting bracket. Smear a little high temperature grease to the contact points on the outer brake pad backing plate, then slide it into position in the bracket. Press the wear sensor into the hole in the inner brake pad backing plate, then smear a little grease onto the contact points. Take care not to get any grease on the friction material. Slide the inner pad into place in the bracket. Lower the caliper over the pads, then insert the new guide pin bolt and tighten it to the specified torque. Reconnect the wear sensor wiring plug. Repeatedly depress the brake pedal to bring pads into full contact with the disc. Repeat this whole procedure on the remaining front brake. Check and if necessary, top up the brake fluid level. Locate the wheel over the studs, then refit and lightly tighten the retaining nuts.
Remove the axle stand and lower the vehicle to the ground. Tighten the wheel nuts to the specified torque. Refit the plastic caps.